guys, Dalen here, and welcome to this video. So, um, I am, this is the fourth day of the world event video series. Um, I did get a comment on my last video that it, it like, trying to bring, like, telling me that it is technically the fifth day, and I know it's the fifth day. I didn't cap the first day, which is why I'm a day behind. Um, that's the only reason, like, literally, I don't, I mean... Just because I just like that's why like it, the, my days are going by my days of the days I've been doing it, not the days the world event has been going on. So if I like if I were to miss a day like next week, I wouldn't. I would just like continue with the days that I'm on, the days that I've capped, not the days of the event. Um, that's just the way the numbering's going. Just for clarification. Um, so, like literally, the easiest way to um. So I'm just doing, I'm just capping. Um, the easiest way to do to get renown is literally just turn on PvP, go work on a structure, AFK. That's the, literally the easiest way to get renown. Um, I mean, you could go follow convoys. You could probably you could go PvP. You could do all these extra things as well if you wanted to, and it probably would be a little bit more fun. And you may get it actually. I don't know, a twinge faster, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely the easiest, and I think it's the fastest. I mean, I could do this, like, if you turn on PvP and work on a structure for an hour, you're gonna you're gonna cap pretty much in that hour, um, because it took me about half an hour to do half, so I assume that would be the same way the other way around. Um, so. Followers of Bandos are actually coming into this world for once. There was, like, three of them that were PvPing early, um, like, just, just now that I got raped by. Um, which, I mean, I don't really care. Um. I, I, I did, I got, I, I got killed by, like, three people. They, like, three mages, technically, I think. I think if I had backup, if I had, like, two other people with me, I definitely could have killed them. Um, even if I hadn't had a full, uh... Con like a full convoy or a full uh convoy or whatever with me um like if i had had like two two people that were even below my level i probably could have at least dealt with them because i was able to deal with two people with tectonic and Virtus and all that stuff here um and i was able to deal with that but i couldn't deal with three of them especially when i had no backup at all it was just basically me versus three so and there was no way i could fight that um I tried, like, I tried, um, but I figured, why waste the food and stuff? I, like, used one rock tail, and then I realized, what's the point? I mean, there's no point. Um, that's new. I didn't notice that. Um, but anyways, but, uh, whatever. And then earlier today, it was kind of funny, um, I was working on this structure actually right here, and some, someone in, like, Sea Singers, um, Superior, I probably Sea Singers, and Virtus, Virtus Wand and Book and stuff came in and there was a bunch of war like a bunch of people pvp turned on here but of course they attacked me because i'm probably the biggest threat because i'm the ranger and level 200 ranger the rest of them are like below level 200 and they're all pretty much meleeers i think there was a couple majors but i was the biggest threat basically so she comes and attacks me people go also attack her they're like honestly i wouldn't really consider them wouldn't have considered them big threat i think no offense to the other people that were here at all but i was like the only big threat to her of course, she comes in and attacks me, kind of stays for a while. Uh, me and the other guy that was attacking her basically shit on her. <laughs> um, she used a lot of food and overloads and all that stuff. and so. But I was praying and basically praying. That's all I do. I don't, like, use potions. I don't use, like, overloads because I don't have access to overloads. So I don't use any, like, stat-boosting um, potions. I just use... Uh, I used, uh, what is it called? Torment, torment, anguish. I use anguish and I use soul split, and that's like all I use. And then rock tails to eat. So that's what I was doing. I was attacking her, and then she teleports away. Fair enough. You don't want to die. You want to keep intact your KDR. That's fine. I don't really care about my KDR, which is why I didn't teleport away. I just kind of died. I didn't really care um, earlier. So there's that. And then so she teleports away. Fair enough. She comes back, attacks me again, and then runs away behind the PVP barrier so I can't attack her back. And she basically keeps doing that. It was really entertaining because I literally, if it was like, if this was like one of those games where like you could have a microphone and like talk to people in the game, I would, I would have yelled and I'm like, fight me <laughs> because it was so annoying. Like, people did that to me at Free to Play Clan Wars 2, which is really irritating. It's more irritating, I think, in Clan Wars than here. Um, 
just because I, I don't know, it was just really annoying there. I don't really care here, I mean, whatever. It basically just showed me that she was probably, probably kind of sad, um, that she wouldn't just, like, stand and fight me because I'm pretty sure she probably could have beat me if she tried hard enough. I mean, I'm not that big of a threat. I'm really horrible at PvP. Not that people would know that, people may think that I'm good at it, but I'm really bad at it, and I don't have, like, the best the gear, like... I'd be wearing Death Lotus if I was legitly serious, but I don't have the crafting level for Death Lotus either. Um, I still have to get like 1.2, uh, basically 1.3 mil experience till then, and that's kind of expensive. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, I am still obviously working on Sea Singers. I have the hood left to get, I, that's all I have left um, to get of Sea Singers, and then basically I need to um, focus on Death Lotus. Um, and then I'll be done with Port's armor, and then I don't really care about getting scrimshaws and stuff, honestly. Um, once I get, honestly, once I get the full armor from Port's, that's not, Port's isn't really gonna be that big of a deal to me anymore. <laughs> um, that's really one of the only reasons that I do it. Um, what is for the armors. Just because, um, that way now, then, after that, then I will only, I don't even need to, um, uh, then I won't need, really need to buy armors. I don't really care about Serenic and, um, Tectonic very much. I mean, the, one of the reasons is, is because it degrades into nothing. There's no way to repair it. And so basically you're just blowing money on armor that is going to crumble to dust when I could basically have the superior, like the superior armors, uh, from ports that you can repair. So I'd much rather have those than like serenic or tectonic definitely um even if some of the stats on them are better i don't really care um let's see i'm thinking about maybe getting 90 mining or something sometime this actually is really good for my construction xp um I leveled up, I think, the second day, the first or second day of the event, and already I'm about, uh, I want to say probably two-fifths of the way. Um, probably around two-fifths of the way to my next level, and so, in this, and considering this event's going to be in the game for six weeks, that's a pretty hefty amount of um, construction XP. That's one of the reasons why I focus on working on structures because even though it has low experience um you, you know it's worth it for me because that way i don't really have to pay for it <laughs> even if the can xp is low i mean it doesn't take that long it takes like an hour and um to do and you get 14 xp per whatever per renown i think or something like that um Sorry, you know what, you guys know I can't concentrate on talking and typing at the same time. Uh, it doesn't, that, it doesn't work that way with me for some reason. I find that it's kind of a little, probably a little bit saddening, but whatever. So, anyways, um, uh, I wasn't, I was actually online earlier today, earlier than I normally go. Normally I get on at five o'clock my time, which is when the game tick reset. So that's when like you get spins and your dailies reset and the world event resets. That's usually when I first get on, but I was on earlier today and I was in my clan chat and I was like, wow, there's a lot more people in the clan chat with that at this time of day than when I get on. Cause I get on like fairly late. Um, um, And there's, like, no people on. There's, like, usually one or two. And then sometimes I'm on by myself. Um, it's not going to take that long to cap. I'm, like, almost done. It's, like, 1. 1. 1.4 left. <coughs> um, I went ahead and bought the emo as well. So now I have all the tier 1 re rewards from Armadale. Um... I'm not going to be, like I said, I'm not going to be one switching to Bandos. I looked at the Bandos overrides and that kind of stuff in the emo and junk, and I don't really like the looks of their of Bandos. It's not really my thing. Also, just because, I mean, whatever. I, I'm not one of those people that uh, want, really cares about getting all the rewards. I know there are some people out there that are. 
So, and I'm fine with that. I mean, that's just not what I do. So, anyways. Um, I guess I'm gonna be going and dueling my clan mate. She said she wanted to, um test a couple weapons or something and so since i'm not really doing anything you know might as well help out a clan mate that's fine with me gets gives me a chance to actually meet these people too like i've literally in game met maybe three of my clan mates it's kind of sad and i mean my clan's not like overly active but it's not like very inactive either it's kind of like they're in the middle especially later at night when i'm on there's usually not a lot of people but there is a good amount of people on during the day um, so, works out. So, anyways. But, yeah, I did get the new, um, ability, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, I haven't really had a chance to test it because I haven't really been doing too much combat. Um, most of the combat that I do is, uh, usually with PvP here, and that's not too often. And then also, um, when I go, when I actually want to go and attack convoys, I don't usually do it too often anymore. Usually, I just um, focus on getting the the construction experience. Um, I'm gonna turn off PVP now, just because I don't really need it on anymore, and I'd really rather not just keep getting raped by uh, those three people that are here. Turn it off, and then also I can put on a cape now. Um, I don't need to have my Avas on anymore. I only have it on obvi for obvious reasons, um, because. Um, so I don't have to, like, go pick up stuff. So. There's this. I have so many overrides. It's kind of nuts how many overrides I have. <laughs> um, I have, uh, I still have one, um, Dragon Keepstone key in my bank, too. So, I still have one to use. I don't really know what I want to use it on, either. Like, I haven't decided yet. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what I should use it on. Um, that's not really expensive, like, I'm not gonna buy a party hat and use it on that, but, um, if you have any ideas, definitely put it in the comments, because I have really no idea. Then I have, like, so many head items, I mean, I don't even know why I have this many, like, it's weird, so many head items. I don't even, I don't even, I don't know, I don't even really use it too much. Um, capes, I don't have that many capes, uh, the most of one item I have, or, like, one override item is definitely... Uh, um, head items, neck items, I have, like, one neck item, I have a bunch of main hand, like, overrides for this, a lot of them, um, came with stuff that I got for free, like the Paladin Blade, um, the Aurora Longsword, I think I got, um, I think I got Sword of Edicts for free, um, Superhero Claws obviously got for free, um, f I think, no, I don't remember if I got that for free. Infernal stuff, yes. Um, superhero lightning, yes. Um, I think one of I think the brutal mace I got was like one of those free free Solomon store things. Um, got some offhand items. I have a bunch of body items too, but a lot of it's because I got I have like full set items. Um, leg items about the same amount. Gloves, boots, and then I have four of the uh, eye overrides. I don't really know why I have them. I don't use them that often, but whatever anyways um <coughs> so now i have a total of 16k renown and basically i'm gonna just be uh i'm just gonna be saving up i guess because i don't because like I, said, I don't know how much renown is the next is going to be is gonna the next tier items are going to cost most likely it's going to be more than um you can gain in a day um so i'm just going to be saving up so i can buy other some buy some rewards when it um when they first get unlocked and then like i said it's the very end of the event when i've unlocked everything um on the armadale side i'll probably just use my extra renown on xp Assuming I have extra now, and I probably will though, because I doubt it's gonna take, um, I, I doubt it's gonna take, like, nearly every day capture now to get, um, all the items, so, anyways, um, I think that's it for today, guys, uh, I don't really have any, I don't think I have anything else to talk about, um, no, I think that's it, anyways, um, so, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you later, thanks!